So here we are at the UK launch of the Parrot Bebop drone, as they call it, which is a brand new, basically totally flying camera. Um, it's very lightweight, about 390 grams or so. This black bit at the back is a 1200 milliamp hour battery, which comes out. You get two batteries in the pack when you buy it, which I think is a really a cool idea, which more quadcopter people would do that. It's typically Parrot in that it's very, very um, stable to fly, very easy to fly. You control it with um, a, a smartphone or a tablet like this, and it has lots of modes. I like the other things like the, also the bumpers, which are foam so that it prevents it hitting uh, or damaging anything or damaging the props. Very uh, well thought out product again. Again, unlike most other of uh, these quads, like the Phantom Vision we looked at and stuff, this is basically a, just a camera. Uh, you know, the, this is a 14 megapixel with, uh, camera with fisheye lens, um, f2.2 uh, lens. It has three degrees of um, stabilization, and it's, the demo we just had was remarkably stable. I'm gonna take some, some shots myself and, and put them up so you can see exactly how stable the video is when you're flying this thing. You can see it's, it's, it's using, like the Rolling Spider we reviewed a while back, it's using sensors to keep itself steady indoors. And outdoors, of course, you use GPS. Um, so there, it's, it's a very, very um, sophisticated piece of equipment. If we set it to start going, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed, of course, but of course with Parrot, you, there's a possibility you can do that because you have things like um, takeoff buttons and landing buttons and an emergency button to come back. There's a number of modes you can use um, to pilot it. Um, this is expert mode, so you have this, a, a, an equivalent of a joystick here. You have up and, uh, up and down, and on the right-hand side, that, that button is actually controlling the camera. So the camera you can move digitally, um, vertically and horizontally into new axes as you're flying. You can see now that there's a camera, you, you can even see, there you go, this is a bit recursive, but you can see the camera there. So let's, uh, let's take off, shall we, and see how we do, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by this uh, stability thing, which you don't, really, you don't get with any other flying product apart from a Parrot. So let's uh, see just how stable it is. Nothing flies as stable as a Parrot, I, 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 I'm, in my opinion, but let's see how we can do this with this. So let's press the takeoff button, like so. And there you go, we're up. And that's it, I mean, my hands are not flying, I'm not doing anything. The, the uh, unit is actually recording automatically. You can see the little red dot there. So no matter what I do from now on, it's recording onto the eight gigabytes of internal memory um, and it will store that until I download it either onto my smartphone or tablet or onto a PC via the USB port on the on the quad itself as you see there. So if I want to go up then what I do is just do that. There it goes and sits like a, a good and pretty pretty efficient I think. Um, <laughs> Oh, I see. Well, one of my problems is there's a loose thing which has come off. Uh, which is probably just because it's, it's having to stabilize itself even with that loose thing on it. So I'll land it. And let me make sure I don't land it over a chair and, and crunch it. So. Okay, let's take it down. Press the landing button. There it goes, <laughs> almost lands in apart, but impressive stabilization, I think you'll agree, because it didn't wobble at all. Hold on, let me just fix this and get back to you. Okay, let's try again. Take off button. Straight up, lovely little hover. Now, another way of flying it is to hold your button, uh, sorry, hold your finger on the controller button and use the accelerometer. So if you see, I don't know, can you, it's difficult to actually see the, the thing, but if you watch the drone, if I tilt forward, it goes forward. Let me just take it up a bit. There we go, we'll go up a fraction. So if I, oh, well, no, that probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> we take it down a fraction so we can see it easier. Hold my, fing hold my finger on the button and tilt backwards, and here it comes, Woohoo! quite quickly. 
hold my finger on the button and move it that way or move it that way that way back very intuitive i mean look at that you can get completely amazing shots so you know you have absolute control over it and as i say that the right in this mode i'm just trying to juggle this with one hand which is mightily impressive i think with this hand i can adjust the camera to take different kinds of shots so i'm now pointing slightly to the left and still a little bit down so i can you know take it right up whoa you've got to remember the accelerometer is live in this mode so let's I hope you're impressed by the fact that I'm filming and <laughs> using one hand to actually fly the thing at the same time, which is an indication of just how cool the control system on this uh, quad is. So right now, that's the shot I'm getting from the camera, uh, the high definition camera. And if I do a nice little turn without, without using the accelerometer, so I just hold the thing flat, hold my finger on there, and then just do that. Oops, and then bring it back. You'll see it's really, it's really easy to use. Now I could do a little twirl. Let me see how I do a little twirl. Oh, no, no, no. Obviously not like that. Um, oh, have I been defeated by the, uh, the... No, there you go. There's a twirl. Looks a bit like a, one of those Star Wars fighters, doesn't it really? You can actually also have it um, as a, a standard quad control, so you can have the normal quad control uh, option, which is quite cool. Uh, so you don't have to, let me bring it down. <laughs> You don't have to let me bring it to my nose here. Come here, you. Come here. You, you don't have to uh, have this super high-tech way of doing things. You can have it, but it's much easier for me when I'm doing filming to have, it, uh, to have it with one hand, as you can see. Makes life a lot easier. This is what I'm seeing now. Again, just a little... Very sensitive on the accelerometer, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that! I can dance with this thing. But the, the thing that always amazes me about these uh, Parrot products is that sheer, rock-steady, hands-off, I'm not touching you, kind of stability. It is magnificent. And coupled with the, the, the look at the steadiness of the image. Now this is this this unit is moving around but you're not seeing any wobble in the image at all because of the, the uh, gyro stabilization, the um, three axis stabilization. You're seeing a very tiny amount of movement, but basically it's just sitting here. The camera is just pointing in the one direction. They're saying they're bringing, what they're trying to do is to bring the quality of video close to professional, but for the consumer market. Um, and certainly from this, quick demonstration it looks like they've succeeded uh, we'll, I'll show you the video the footage that I'm taking in a second and you'll be able to tell but uh, certainly you know the flying is wonderful I mean I could just you know <laughs> I could just literally dance my way around here without even you know having a, a problem I mean and you if I dance whoa <laughs> I get attacked by get attacked by So again, it's running in sta completely stable mode. Now there's a couple of things. It has a return to home mode, emergency button, as you can see on the tablet there, which, it's, which you'll, if, if you get into trouble somewhere else. And it has a return to home button. The one thing it won't do, which is kind of strange, is it won't um, come automatically home to, oh, the, ba the battery's failing. So that's my battery time done. Um, I'd have to put in, if I was out in the field with this, I'd have to put another, another battery in. So let's, uh, let's land it with the auto landing. 
There you go, done. Job done. It also comes with uh, an optional, you can buy it as an option with this, uh, what they call the Sky Controller. You slip, slot your tablet into here. This is a range extending Wi-Fi antenna, which will extend the range of the, of the quad to uh, two kilometers, which is about 1.2 miles. So that means it goes a long way. Um, however, of course, there's a 12 minute flight time on the battery. So in windy conditions, I'm, I'm doubtful whether you'll get out to the 1.2 miles, but still, it's a, it's a solid kind of performance, um, solid kind of distance for any kind of quad, really, especially one which carrying a, a camera of this kind of resolution. This is how you remove the battery, for instance. It just comes off its Velcro on there, and you just pull it off from there, and then unplug, and plug the new one in, and slot that in, and put your Velcro back on. The one thing I, uh, that it needs pointing out, of course, is the fact that um, with it runs on Wi-Fi connection, so the range of it without the Sky Controller, just as it is, is around 300 meters. So it's quite, again, a, a respectable distance. It remains to be seen, I, I assume that's line of sight, so it remains to be seen if it's still that good uh, outside in real world conditions. So there you go, this is the Parrot Bebop drone. Uh, our verdict? Yes, a, a typical Parrot product. Very well engineered, very stable. As usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.